Hey guys, guys, from Romanek in Tennis here. Welcome to another video. I hope you're all doing great. Finally, I could uh, get a court here in a club, amazing place to bring you some more content. So today we're gonna be working on and something that I've been working in private consulting with a lot of people, but I still have a lot of questions and people confused, in, you know, the work of the hand for the kick serve. So I just wanna give you a couple of tips, you know, simple eight to 10 minute video showing you how I like to to explain it and maybe where you have the the main mistakes okay into how to prepare and how to execute a good kick serve and where the secrets okay between uh between quotation here what are the secrets we could say to to improve and to have a better kick serve all right so let's get to it i'm gonna be serving and showing you here different things and for you to understand how uh this serve work and why it's so effective and you know before we get into it you have to understand that first is one resource, okay? Something different that you can do. You have the flat, you have a slice, and you have the kick, especially for riding, okay? From here to serve the ball, to kick and get, you know, wide. A lot of people sometimes get, uh, you know, get confused because they say, oh, your kick serve is not going high, it's going to a side. Well, I like to teach and I like to, to use both. I like the one that it goes, you know, the kicks, and it really jumps height but sometimes you don't take the player, you know, out of the court. And I like the one that maybe you, um, the ball doesn't go too high, but yes, you can get a, a ball that is gonna kick to the side. And then you have your opponent, maybe where the chair is, you know, I put it there as a, kind of like as a reference, you know, you have your plate or your opponent all the time hitting out from there. So you have all the space open in the court. All right, so let's get to it. I'm gonna show you again, a couple of tips and I will talk to you uh, a little after all of those. Uh, after I show you uh, some of the exercises. So the first thing that you need to understand, very important, is the grip that you need to use. Okay, continental grip. I think you old guys, you can see from here, kind of like grabbing a hammer. How can I get it? Continental, you know, move your hand down putting kind of like this, this V or this check mark here, the knife mark, whatever you want to call it. Just go down and you close. I'm gonna show you also with the numbers, you know, some people like to teach you with numbers, one, two, three. I'm gonna put a picture somewhere here for you to understand where is continental, where is Eastern, where is semi-Western, and which is the continental. Whatever number that you see here, you have to place, okay, your the knuckle, okay, the palm sum of your knocker index into the grip. Okay, so if it's an Easter in the number three, you have to place th that part of the hand, okay, this part here of the hand into a three, into a four or into a two, if it's a continent or not, all right? So I'm gonna put that somewhere here in the, in the page. And once you have the grip, one simple thing and one educational grip that I like to do is, very simple, okay, this goes more into the biomechanics. You can put your hand like this, okay, you can put your hand like this, and what you're gonna do is, Bring in the, the palm, you can see here, if you start like this, I'm gonna get closer if you guys see it. You take it a little far, like this, and then you're gonna make your hand rotate to clap, okay? So from here, you can see it, okay, which, which happens in the pronation. From here, this is a very good educational drill for you to understand the movement of the hand, okay? Here again, I'm gonna show you closer. So you start like this, clap, start like this, clap, start like this, clap. You see this movement of the hand, it will happen that you can see how I can start to take it up and it's all the time happening the same. It doesn't matter where I do it, goes up, goes up. And this is what happens, okay? This is what happens with the pronation and the kick serve, all right? So if you get the racket, if you get the racket here and you start to do this movement, okay, like this, you can see that I'm doing the same work with the pronation. Now with the flat serve, when we hit the ball, here, let me show you from closer so I can actually hit a flat serve. Here, you can see that the hand finish into the side. So I'm gonna hit the ball here, pronate, hit flat, push, and the ball is gonna, uh, the hand is gonna pronate forward, okay? In this case, forward, in this case here, and then pronate and close. But the hand, the racket after the shot is gonna come to the left side of my body. What happened with the kick serve, it's that your hand has to finish, okay, after you pronate here, you see the palm, you pronate, you go to the side, same with the racket, you pronate, you go to the side, 
So one little trick here for you to understand if you do it right is that after hitting and pronation, the face of the racket that was facing, that hit the ball, okay, here, maybe you guys can see here, here. The face of the racket that hit the ball now has to finish looking into the, into the fence behind you, all right? Another tip here is that the back cap of the racket has to point up and you have to see it from this side, okay, of the, of the racket, all right? Another one that I like to do, which is more educational, you know, I, I have other, uh, other videos where I, you know, I do a lot of hitting. I have another ones where I do educationals with the racket. This one is actually, you know, this video I just wanted to stick to the understanding of the movement because there are a lot of questions. I, I, I have explained it to many players in different ways, but I felt, you know, this was maybe the, some little tricks, some little tips that I was missing into having, you know, all the complete, um, saga on secrets on tips on how to work it another one and the last one that i'm going to give you today it once you understand that the racket has to go from you know you have the hand you're going to hit the ball here pronating from you know ball here pronating from eight to two and go to the side now you can actually do that throwing the ball all right throwing the ball brushing with your fingers if your fingers were like the racket brushing from eight to chew and pronating to a side but letting the ball go forward all right letting the ball go forward so the moment you you get from here okay you come from here you get you throw the ball the ball goes forward you brush like this the ball goes forward but your hand goes to a side all right so you can understand that you'd be doing the motion that you do with the racket with the hand that sometimes helps so you can you actually start to use these drills especially if you you know you're a beginner you use it with uh with kids you know, this movement of the hand, which is an educational drill for biomechanics, this one with the ball for them, you know, sometimes it's, it's easier when you can feel it on your fingers first, you know, the movement that you do. And after that, you go and you apply it with the racket. So I spend, you know, with kids or beginners, I spend a lot of time, you know, a long time uh, working into this because once they get the feeling in the fingers of what actually the racket has to do, it's, it's easier, you know, for them to feel it than with the racket. All right, guys, that was it for today. I hope you, you really enjoyed it today. You know, something different, not a strategic, not a hitting, but, you know, educational because the kick serve is a very complex serve with so many, you know, work with the legs, work with the hand, you know, a little, the, the toss of the ball. Sometimes some players need to make a difference. You know, the feeling of the hitting is different because it's not actually hitting, it's more like a brushing. So, you know, I just wanted to complete all these videos that I have with the kick serve with this educational that I have been trying on the court with players and they work you know amazing i have tried with um, private consulting players you know also helping them you know to start to feeling the fingers you know this this brushing and this uh pronation to the side also with the hand and for them it worked amazing so i said why not you know bring it to everybody here uh into youtube all right i hope you guys like it like the video if you like it share with your friends so more people can get to this information and i'll see you in the next one thank you